Hi guys, Adam here and welcome back to the reveal in Adam's Toyland. Today I'm going to be showing you this Kawadi stuffed animal. The white-nosed Kawadi is found in North, Central, and South America. The white-nosed Kawadi's range is from Arizona to Argentina. White-nosed Kawadis live in a variety of habitats, including dry open forests and tropical woodlands. Kawanis eat fruit, invertebrates, small rodents, and lizards. They forage for food on the ground and, and occasionally in the trees. The natural predators of the Kawadi are jaguar undus, anacondas, boa constrictors, maned wolves, foxes, dogs, tyras, ocelots, and jaguars. The top speed of a Kawadi is 15 miles per hour. The lifespan of a Kawadi is 7 years in the wild and 14 years in captivity, although they have been known to live into their late teens. There are four subspecies of Kawadi on the planet. They are the Mountain Kawadi, the Ringtail Kawadi, aka the or the Banded Kawadi, the Cozumel Island Kawadi and the White Nose Kawadi. Here's the average weight for two Kawadi subspecies. The White Nose Kawadi's average weight is 8.3 pounds, and the South American Kawadi's average weight is 8.7 pounds. The conservation status of the Kawadi is least concerned, but unfortunately, the population is decreasing. We need to save the Kawadi from extinction to the creature rescue. The Kawadi is also known as the Kawadi Mundi. If Kawadis are not bottle raised at a young age or continually socialized, the Kawadi can become very violent and dangerous, much like a pet primate. Kawadis are members of the raccoon family because I think of the rings on their tails. I did not know this, but Kawanis are high attitude specialists. Another cool and unique fact about the Kawani that I did not know, Kawanis are actually named for their unique noses. I mentioned before what there were four subspecies of Kawani in the, on the planet, but there are four species of Kawani on the planet as well. Kawanis give birth in trees. Kawadis babysit one another's offspring. That's cool. I think Kawadis, I think, live in packs like African wild dogs do. Well, African wild dogs does, do not relate to Kawadis whatsoever, but African wild dogs actually do a similar yet the same behavior. One dog stays behind and wants looks after the pups while the other while the rest of the pack is hunting and i think that might be true for kawanis too female and baby kawanis live in large groups kawanis have an important role in their ecosystem in my opinion kawanis look really weird looking but cool at the same time okay time for the rating i rate this Kawadi stuffed animal is 10 out of 10. I recommend a by game this animal if they like Kawadis, stuffed animals, South American animals, cute but deadly animals, and unique animals. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please click the like button down below. And to subscribe, click the picture of Veep the Cobra, that's my Wild Republic Cobra, to subscribe to this channel. Oh, one more thing. Stay loving Kawadis. See you later. Bye.